Hey everyone, Cody here, and today I have a kind of a different video. Um, there is no painting in this video, so if you're going to click off, that's totally fine. This is kind of more of a just conversational type video, um, but I will upload a painting video with this video. So if you haven't already seen the painting video, I will upload that to either come out right around the same time or a little bit later um, after this one. So just shortly after that way. You're still getting a painting video today on top of uh, this video that I kind of wanted to, I just felt was kind of on my heart to talk about. There's three things I want to talk about. I won't make this super long. There's two separate things. And then the third thing kind of ties into both of those. And so I want to talk about just a few different things and um, just kind of motivate you, I hope, uh, just to just to kind of speak to you one-on-one. Uh, -on -one. So the first is, about our current situation. So obviously with COVID going on, a lot of people are in quarantine, a lot of people are in lockdown, a lot of people have to stay home. There's also a lot of uncertainty in the world, like when is when are we gonna be able to kind of go back to normal or when are we gonna be able to live a normal life um, kind of after all of this stuff is going on. But the, the thing is, is that even when we're done with this and we can go back to work, we can go back to school, we can go back to doing the things that we used to do, um, I don't think that there will be another normal. This this is kind of a new normal, I think, for where we're at. And obviously, we'll be able to go back to things, but it's not going to be the same economically, um, physically to the world itself, uh, just our relationship dynamics, the things that are going on. You know, there's a lot of crazy stuff going on with, you know, with, you know, COVID and just even uncertainty and fear. And the reason I'm bringing all this up is because right now a lot of people are kind of turning to outlets like YouTube to kind of soak in a bunch of information. And the reason I'm even bringing all this up is because I want to remind you that, yes, there is a lot of going stuff going on. And yes, this is still continuing and I'm not ignoring any of that. But... It's not all doom and gloom. And honestly, we're going to get through this. I mean, you and I and, and everyone else that, you know, is in quarantine and that is not currently dealing with the sickness, we may still get it. We may still have folks that will get it, yes. But that doesn't mean that we need to fear the uncertainty. We need to fear what's going on. The thing is, is that fear spreads very, um, actually more effectively than the virus itself. And I think that, you know, the media kind of plays into that, you know, talking to people who are kind of fearful of it, talking to us kind of instills that fear into us. And and my point is, is that none of that, you need, you need to stop worrying about that. Like you can't worry about the future. You can't worry about getting the virus. You can't worry about, you know, uh, just all of the bad effects that could come out of it. Yeah, those things could happen. I'm not, again, I'm not oblivious. But fearing the unknown or worrying about how it may affect you or it may affect other people or how it will affect the future, worrying about that stuff is just kind of taking on a burden, an invisible burden that you're putting on your own shoulders that's going to weigh you down. And it's going to affect the way that you think. It's going to affect the actions that you take. It's going to affect um, kind of your day-to-day -day business. So you can kind of see this with the shortage of supplies that there is throughout the U.S. and some of the parts of the world where, you know, here in the U.S., if you're in the U.S., you know that right now it's a running joke that there's no toilet paper because people allowed fear to kind of inset in them that there's a scarcity. And so they had to go out and buy tons and tons of toilet paper or paper towels or sanitizer or gloves, whatever it is. You know, people allowed fear to control their actions, their emotions, and then they went out and acted on that fear. And then they hoarded. And that hoarding is only hurting other people who may not even be looking to hoard. Uh, they are just trying to get a normal amount, but it's, it's impossible almost to get a normal amount because other people have been hoarding it. And, it, and it's hurting, um, you know, regular people. So those people who have allowed fear to control their actions are hurting regular people, you know, people who are not doing that, or even other people who are also fearful. Uh, now those people are even in, more, in greater fear because now they feel like there's a scarcity. Well, it's not necessarily that there is a scarcity. There probably is enough supply out there. It's just, it currently looks like there isn't enough because we're not seeing that. 
uh, when we go to the store, that stuff is not there. My point out of all of that is that, yes, this is serious. Yes, there is a lot going on. But allowing that fear and that that stuff to to worry you is not going to benefit you in any way. Stop worrying. Stop allowing fear, the fear of the unknown and the future and all these other things, to weigh you down and to affect your actions. We have to take a logical approach to this and we have to take a a calm, you know, calculated approach to how we deal with what's going on. Yes, we should be cautious. Yes, we should be, you know, we should have better hygiene. We should be a little bit stocked up, sure. And we should be taking, you know, precautionary measures that are probably recommended to us. But we don't need to allow that fear to overcome us. Now, coming out of that, there's a lot of good news. I mean, obviously, the earth is kind of healing itself. There's a lot less pollution. And, you know, there's actually more animal life being seen in, in urban areas because, you know, there's less people. Um, and coming out of this, people are, you know, beginning to talk more over online and they're finding creative ways to stay connected to other people. You know, there's just, there is good coming out of that. And actually, if you haven't watched John Krasinski's uh, Some Good News, I would recommend it. It's actually pretty, it's funny, but it's also, it's, it's also kind of nice to watch. There is a lot of good coming out of it. Now, the second thing that I wanted to talk about today is where you're currently at in your life. And I realized the other day that it's very important to make sacrifices. You see, a lot of people want a result, but they don't want to put in a sacrifice to get that thing. But no good thing comes as a result of no sacrifice. Sure, you may get an inheritance from a family member, right? Or you might win the lottery, you know, and those things you didn't necessarily work for and you got it. But that doesn't mean you earned it. And if you never learned how to sacrifice for that thing, it's very easy to let that go. You know, easy come, easy go. So my point out of that is that if you want something to happen, you have to make a sacrifice. You know, I have, I've been married for, for 12 years and I have an amazing marriage, but it didn't come without sacrifices. I've had to make sacrifices for that marriage, but I've also had to give up things in my past, like, you know, parting with people to have a closer relationship with a certain group of people that are very close to me. Um, but also in raising my kids, I had to had sacrifices in my work where I worked less so I could be home with my family more. And it's just like this painting, right? I'm not an expert painter, but I'm getting better. And it's due to the sacrifices of time and energy and putting in even money to these things over and over and over again to yield results. And even this channel, it's not a huge channel, but it's grown a lot over the last year. And it's just because I've been putting in a sacrifice. Now, this is not about me. This is about you. And there, I know that there are things that you want in your life right now, things that you are thinking about doing, or you're kind of in the process, but you're not really fully committed. Well, now is the time. And this kind of brings me to my third point. The third point out of all of this is, is the first two. Now, right now, a lot of people have a lot of free time on their hands because they're either not working or they have to stay in their house or they're practicing social distancing. So a lot of people have a lot of time on their hands and the average person would probably just use that time to mess around, to play video games or watch TV. You know, obviously I'm sure Netflix is hoping that a lot of people are using Netflix right now. Well, actually they probably hope that people pay for it but not use the service because they have to pay for the band. Never mind. My point is, is that you know, all of these services are being used a lot right now because of, you know, COVID and, and being stuck at home. But instead of taking that time to just mess around and, and waste that time on, you know, things that really aren't going to matter down the road, why not take that time to really sharpen the skills that you're trying to work on or start going after that, you know, that dream that you have or that goal that you want to accomplish. Take this time that we have and, and turn this negative thing, you know, COVID and, and everything going on about that and, and, you know, economically and all that, take this negative thing and really hammer it home and turn it into a positive by pivoting your point of view of all of that negative stuff to, you know what, I've got a lot of time and yeah, I, I know there's a lot going on, but I could start working on something, really hammering it home so that, you know, in the next six months to a year, you're a lot closer because you didn't have that opportunity back then. You see, any given situation, it's easy to look at the negative because we're, we're drawn to the negative 
uh, aspects of any situation. But the thing is, is that out of that situation, there's always opportunity. And, and I don't mean that in some cheesy guru kind of way where it's like, oh, no, every everything is an opportunity. No, what I mean out of that is that there is good in that and there's things that can come out of that. So my plea for you is that you would use this time to not just focus on all the bad stuff, but take that energy and take that time that you might have right now and start putting it into whatever it is you're trying to accomplish. If you're trying to improve a skill, really hammer it home. Or if you're trying to get better at something like painting, really put into it. And, you know, I know that a lot of people probably don't have a lot of money. I'm hurting too. But it's not about the the amount. Um, like, if you don't have to do a lot of large paintings to get better at painting. You can buy a bunch of small paper pads like I do. For 20 bucks and you get you know 20 sheets or whatever it is and just practice small and just keep practicing because you're going to build that muscle memory and you're going to just get better and better and better so ultimately i want to end this video just by saying this we're in a really weird time and there's a lot of negative things coming out of that but there's also a lot of good we can use this time to really focus on on good things that are going out of that and we can use it as an opportunity to really get better at a craft or to really, you know, if you're looking to start a business or a website or, you know, you want to learn a new skill, you want to pick up a new hobby, you want to improve at something, you know, it doesn't really matter what it is. Don't use this time that you have right now worrying or wasting it on just trivial pursuits. Focus on something that you want to get better at and really hammer it home while we have this chance because it's almost like the whole world right now is on pause, right? Everything is just kind of halted, ground, ground to a halt in most, in most places. Use this time to really get ahead in something and make the most of it so that when we come out of this, you know, in three, six, 12 months, whatever it is, you're actually already ahead of the curve instead of starting it when things are good. It's easy to do things when, when things are good, but if you can get really good at doing something when things are bad, when things are good, it's going to be even better for you. So that's pretty much it for this video. I know, again, a little bit different. I just kind of wanted to bring a little bit of light and motivation to you um, just concerning everything that's going on. But that's it. Like I said, there should be a painting video coming out today as well. So look for that if you haven't already watched it. I appreciate every single one of you um, that watches any of my videos. Very, very grateful. But that's pretty much it. I will catch you guys in another video. Take care. God bless. See you then. Bye, guys.